Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Are you tired of those skyrocketing gas prices? Ever wonder just how much cheaper it is to fill up your Tesla overnight in your own garage? Well, you're in the right place. Today, we're deep diving into the costs of charging your electric vehicle right at home. We'll break down everything from the average price to the sneaky factors that can affect your bill, and even some top tips to save you even more money. So buckle up, because we're about to electrify your knowledge. For those of you new to the EV world, one of the coolest things about owning a Tesla, or any electric vehicle for that matter, is the convenience of charging at home. Think of it like plugging in your phone before bed, so it is fully charged and ready to go in the morning. Plus, it's generally much more cost effective than constantly visiting the gas station. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel, The Energy Professor, and visit our website, theenergyprofessor.com, for more Tesla and energy saving tips. So let's get straight to the big question. How much does it actually cost to charge a Tesla at home? Well, the average cost to fully charge a Tesla at home in 2025 is estimated to be between $8.28 and $14.40. That's a pretty significant difference compared to filling up a gas tank, often cutting your fuel costs in half. And the monthly cost? You can expect to spend anywhere between $36 and $53 to charge your Tesla at home, depending on the model and your driving habits. Now you might be looking at those numbers and thinking, okay, but what exactly affects how much I'll be paying? And that's a great question. Some several key factors come into play. One, your Tesla model and battery size. Different Tesla models have different battery capacities. For example, charging a Tesla Model X with, with its 100 kilowatt battery will naturally cost more than charging a Tesla model with a smaller 57.5 battery. You'll need anywhere from 57.5 kilowatt hours to 100 to fully charge a Tesla. Two, your electricity rates. This is a big one. Electricity costs vary significantly depending on where you live. The average cost of electricity in the US is around 16 cents per kilowatt hour, but in states like California or Hawaii, it can be much higher. Conversely, in areas with lower utility rates, charging will be cheaper. Three, time of use rates. Here's a potential money saver. Many utility companies offer time of use electricity rates, meaning it's cheaper to use electricity during off peak hours, which are usually overnight. By setting a charging schedule, you can take advantage of these lower rates and wake up to a fully charged Tesla for less money. Some utilities even have special EV charging rate plans. And lastly, charging efficiently. Keep in mind that EV chargers aren't 100% efficient, so you might use a little extra electricity to get a full charge. An estimated efficiency is around 90%, but this can vary. Now let's talk about how you actually plug in at home. Tesla offers a few different home charging options. The mobile connector. This is a portable and convenient option that you can take with you. You can plug it into a standard household outlet, 120 volt for a slow charge to about two to three miles of range per hour. If you have an existing 240 volt outlet, like a dryer outlet that your installer approves, you can get significantly faster charging up to 30 miles of range per hour. The purchase price for the mobile connector is around $275. The wall connector. This is Tesla's recommended home charging solution for the best experience. It provides optimal and faster charging speeds, potentially up to 44 miles of range per hour. The wall connector uses NACS, the North American Charging Standard plug, which is Tesla standard. It costs around $420. Interestingly, the maximum charge rate for the Model 3 and the Model Y rear wheel drive is the same for both the wall connector and the mobile connector when using a 32A output. However, the wall connector offers additional features like Wi-Fi connectivity for the app control, scheduling, charging statistics, and compatibility with other EVs, though Tesla-only vehicles can manage charging access. And lastly, the universal wall connector. This is an all-in-one solution that supports both the NICS plug for Teslas and the J1772 plug, which is commonly used by other EV manufacturers. It can cost around $550 and is compatible with most EVs in North America. 
Now, installing a wall connector or new 240 volt outlet typically involves hiring a certified electrician. Tesla trains certified installers who specialize in EV charging. They can help you choose the best option, provide an installation quote, and handle the installation, including necessary permits and inspections. Installation costs can vary quite a bit, with estimates ranging from $750 to $1,500, especially if you need things like a long wire run, an additional electrical panel, or even a main panel upgrade. Some Tesla certified installers might even provide a wall connector as part of the installation, so it's worth asking. Okay, so now that we've covered the costs, how can you save even more money on charging your Tesla at home? Here are a few key strategies. One, utilize off-peak charging. We've already touched on this, but it's worth reiterating. Take advantage of your lower electricity rates during overnight hours by setting a charging schedule at your Tesla's touchscreen or the Tesla app. Two, consider solar panels. This is a fantastic long-term investment that can significantly reduce or even eliminate your electricity costs for charging. While the initial cost of a solar system can be substantial, around $19,000 on average, the savings on your energy bills can lead to a return on investment in as little as five years in some cases. Charging an EV with solar power can cost as little as six cents per kilowatt hour. And lastly, check for incentives. Keep an eye on home charging incentives, which can come in the form of purchase and installation rebates or discounted electricity rates offered by your local administration or utility company. If you want to compare the cost of gas and Tesla charging, check out our YouTube video. I will link it in the description. The bottom line is that charging a Tesla at home is significantly cheaper than fueling a gas-powered car. Some reports suggest that it can be nearly three times cheaper. The average monthly expense for gas-powered vehicles can be around $143, while charging a Tesla at home can cost you between $36 and $53 on average. And if you factor in solar power, that monthly cost can drop even further to around $24 on average. So there you have it, a comprehensive look at the cost of charging your Tesla at home. It's convenient, generally much cheaper than gas, and with a little planning and potentially some smart investments like home solar, you can save even more. What are your experiences with charging an EV at home? Let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.